I'm just about ready to go back up into the attic. That's why I'm all wet, my pants are soaked, my shirt's soaked. But because I'm talking about the fish tape and your existing boxes and how to fish a wire down there, I had one more thing I wanted to kind of tell you here. Okay? The fish tape generally has a hook on the end. It's looped over. That way you can kind of attach a wire onto there later and to pull it back through. And it makes this a little bit bigger so as you're pushing down, it's not a sharp edge as you're pushing through the insulation or something. It's not going to dig into anything. Well, let's say you're fishing this down the wall, okay? Down to your existing box. You got your hook there, like I was telling you, and you hook that. Now you tell somebody, you tell somebody from up above. Here, let's get some more, let's get some more wire out here. And this is how you do it. Just hang on to here and pull the handle. Hang on, pull the handle, pull the handle, pull the handle. And that just zips it on out. Okay? Now, let's say this wire is coming down. Let's say the box is right here. The box is right here, okay? You've got this pushed down further. Alright, now we're just going to take our wire, we push it up inside the box, we fish around for it and bend that wire and all over. Okay, good, we got it. Alright, now you tell somebody, okay, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Look at that. This is hooked right on the end. They can pull this up a little bit higher even. Okay, now you're straight up above the box. Now, I can pull that back right through the box. Look at that. Right down in the box, just enough. I can let go of that loop like that, pull this down. Now, I can attach my wire onto here. When I, when I strip my wire back, you want to strip back, like on Romex wiring. I don't have any right down here because it's up in the attic, but I think you're smart enough, you're getting the picture, okay? The last bit of this, you want to cut the sheathing back. You want to cut off the ground, let's say the ground wire and the white wire. So you only got a black wire left, or you only got the white wire, or you got just the ground wire left, whatever. Okay, now you put that on there like that, all right? You can do your little hook there. Hook that on there like that, okay? Then you can pinch that down with a pair of pliers, put electrical tape over it. Now you've only got this one wire going back up because if you have to go, so you have to get up back through the box, right? So you've got your other wires cut back. You can cut the, the white wire back and stop it here. You can cut your ground wire back to there. You want to go in increments. You can't just hook this up with the Romex cable because it's not going to fit all the way up through your box. You see what I'm saying? Now you can take electrical tape and zip it around this whole thing. Zip it on down here, down to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. Now you pull all that up. Ooh, that's sweet. Okay, so you got to waste some electrical tape. You're not actually wasting it. You're getting your work done. That's the proper way to do this with the fish tape. Okay? Now, you just kind of grab it and push on there. It takes a little doing, you know? And they have these tapes in different lengths. Now this one here is 50 feet. If you think you're going to need something longer than that, I, they have these in 100 feet rolls, but 50 feet around the house, hey, that's plenty. That's about all you're going to need. Okay? Now get to work.